boop. Man, you gotta love these shorelines. They're so beautiful. Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey, you know, the one that actually plays the games, and we're back here in Rust. We're talking about the Rust console edition and what to expect for the pre-order beta that is coming up. Now, as of recording this, it could still technically happen uh, April 20th all the way up until... I Sorry, I'm going <laughs> to check my date again. I had this right here. Up until, I'm sorry, April 30th. And it can start at any time in between there. I think the most likely times that this will start will be either a Tuesday, so April 20th, or the other Tuesday, April 27th. Do we have that here? Oh, we do. Nice. So, uh, nine times out of ten, uh, these types of things we would know just a little bit ahead of time, so we'll let you know ASAP. So, and, uh, my fingers still crossed for this second week here of this thing happening, but just know if it doesn't happen during this week, Hey, it's either this week or the next, so flip a coin, it's 50-50 at this point. So I really do think that they are pushing for the release to be in this current week as of recording this. And again, I'm going to try to future-proof this, so just keep in mind that if it doesn't happen here, it's going to happen next week. And it's most likely to happen on the front half of the week. Now, with that out of the way... Oh, yeah, yeah. So the last video I did, the thumbnail, some people were like, Hey, man, I've seen that thumbnail before. Or at least the photo in there. I was like, you're absolutely right. I didn't credit the person that actually did it. So let me just take some time to go ahead and thank Shaq News for that awesome screenshot that we used. And uh, yeah, thanks to you guys. We were able to make a really cool thumbnail. So uh, Shaq News, check it out. Good stuff. Okay. All right. So going into this, how do you get into this pre-order beta? What that means is you purchase a certain type or types of... Uh, copies of this game and you will get access to this early beta now there are this is for the PlayStation the Xbox clearly uh, this gen and next gen so you've got three versions you've got standard I know a lot of you know this standard which does not have early access uh, or the, the pre-order beta access does not but starting at deluxe which is technically should be called the regular edition uh, because it's sixty dollars uh, that has three-day early access for the full release, and it has the pre-order beta access that, again, starts sometime in April. We just went over that. And staging branch access. Think of it as experimental in other games if you're into it. So really, if you're looking for all the bells and whistles, just pay $60, which is called the Deluxe Edition, and you'll get into this pre-order beta. Or the Ultimate, which is a bit heavier on the skin side, which, if you're into it, and I know you're going to be because you're going to be playing this so much, um, that's an option too, which is what, $80 USD? And this is $60 USD. And again, same for the Xbox, just showing you where it's at. We've gone over that. Uh, I've got my notes up here. Uh, if you are looking, I'm sorry, if you are looking for anything, if you're going to be playing in this and you want to know about the key cards, the launch site, how do we do monuments? What are monuments? How do I build? How do I raid? I've got a Rust Guides playlist. I will go ahead and link that now in the upper right hand corner. It's going to help you out with everything. Help avoid the, those pitfalls when you first get started. It's a plethora of information for all kinds of players all up and down the scale of skill. All right, so going back over here, we've got, uh, we just did the possible start times. All right, so what to expect during this beta as far as some of the bells and whistles? There's not a whole lot I can go through because I am still bound by NDA. Just know that as soon as this thing starts, we're going to be live streaming this, obviously, in the pre-order beta. And you guys can ask us whatever you want. The NDA will be lifted at that point, And you can ask people that have had a lot of experience in this game since 2013 and playing this and also playing on the Rust console edition. So, you know, bring your questions then as soon as that NDA is lifted. And let's go ahead and go over here. I think I've got the rest. Okay, okay. So, as far as performance, and some people are saying, and again, I don't want to break NDA, some people are talking about, uh, you know, what version is it going to be, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. So this is what I can show you now. It says, much like the PC version, the console editions will be updated regularly over time with the existing and new content created by Face Punch, as well as our own improvements. However, the way we will update will be different. The console editions will follow their own update roadmap from launch that we, w that we believe will provide an optimal player, player experience while gradually introducing players to the vast amount of gameplay and content that makes Rust an incredible experience. It is. We believe Rust 
uh, is where it is today, partly because Face Punch has been able to test out new features and improve the game over the years. Fixing the issues as they come up, beautiful, iteratively, <laughs> can never say that word, building a better and building a better and better game while taking a similar approach with the Rust console editions, expanding the game incrementally while working within the tight memory restrictions, testing, getting feedback, and working with the console community to create the best possible edition of Rust uniquely for a Rust, I'm sorry, uniquely for a console audience. This is the type of stuff we want. This is the fortitude that Face Punch has had all the way uh, through, through the entire process. I mean, literally, this game updates every month. Now, as far as when that cycle is for the console, it sounds like that'll be announced at some point. But, I mean, that's beautiful. So it sounds like they took a point in time, and again, without breaking NDA, and they're going to be working from that point forward. I can tell you as a Rust player from day one on PC, this game has always been fun from the point we got it to where it is right now. Hands down, we've always been playing this game. It's a blast. If you like open world survival, this is it. Especially PvP focus, like with some crafting and stuff, is dope. Okay, let's see what else to expect here. Okay, this kind of touches base on... All right, let me just read this real quick. Once we move to the pre-order beta test, this will run in a much more updated version of the game. I'm sorry, this is what I meant to reference earlier, but uh, compared to the one we had previously during the closed beta. We call that the limited beta, the NDA beta, just so you know. This new version will be a lot more stable, and we also plan to introduce some exciting new features to keep the experience fresh and the community engaged. For us... All of this has been a monumental and extremely valuable learning experience. Not only with, was, was this the first time letting the public play our game, but we also had to adapt with a new rhythm of pushing ourselves further so we would quickly address the problems as soon as they came in. Overall, we feel the Rust console edition is shaping up well leading into the release. Soon we will reveal the start date of the pre-order beta test and as well talk about the NDA lift. Uh, we know that some of you are really excited to be able to finally stream, yes, and make videos about the game, and the team is super excited to see them as well. I mean, the boyfriend squad's going to be all over this. Are you kidding me? We already have been. Uh, but it would just be nice to actually sit in there and play, show you guys how much fun it is with, uh, you know, the crew, BioLaser, RazorTube, myself, Jade Monkey, and you guys can ask us whatever you want. Uh, we'll be in touch with the NDA is lifted, but until then, please keep in mind that all footage which should have never been taken in the first place in the closed or limited beta test, will remain under NDA, non-disclosure agreement, indefinitely, which means forever, and can never be shared in the public domain. So if you did record or take screenshots, do not post them. You will get clapped for it. Uh, you've been warned. You know, that's standard fare. So I don't want to see people get banned from the game and get stuff, repercussions from that when things can be easily avoided. So if you record it during there, just know you got your warning. Don't post it. Okay. So we do know through our research and also what they've posted publicly that the servers will have a 100-player cap. I'm sure there'll be some variations on that as well. I believe it's even listed here, if I'm not mistaken. PlayStation's got it listed. There we go, 99 players with PS Plus. There you go. And uh, it says it here, too, 2 to 100. Yeah, same thing. And I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but this is crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox only, not the computer. So that's a good thing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a good thing. Uh, well, from a controller standpoint, but also from the, y yeah. So uh, since we have those in there, uh, we can crossplay between the two. I believe, let me see, I just, I totally just stroked out. Uh, okay, so we got the differences there, and we've got, okay. Uh, judging by this here, and again, I'm, I'm taking a big jump here. We've got some presets, and this isn't going to be in the pre-order beta. These custom servers, this will happen later. Think uh, Ark or Conan, where you had to rent servers, pay money, or like DayZ. They're going to have something like that. It looks like they've got some cool implementations for us on the console. And since they say game presets and rules, maybe they will, maybe they won't for the pre-order beta. I'm assuming that they'll have some slight tweaks and variations there for us, their own presets. Just know that the standard game itself does wipe every cycle for the update, which is every month. Some of them wipe weekly, bi-weekly. So just know wipes are a regular part of the game. That's <laughs> always been a thing. And again, if, if 
you know, people have played this game, they would know instantly just by loading the the official screen <laughs> that bi-weekly and weekly, weekly uh, wipes happen all the time. So there's like soft wipes and hard wipes. I don't think there'll be a lot of wipes. I wouldn't worry too much about the pre-order beta. I do believe the progress, and I'm guessing here, won't carry over into the full game, but we'll have to wait and see. And again, if you're waiting and you've got the standard edition over here, right? And you're worried about that three-day early access? Don't be. Just get in there and play. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And just so you know, the full release of the game is May 21st, 2021. And if you've got three-day early access, access deluxe or ultimate, it's going to be on the 17th. I'm sorry, is that, is that right? 17th. I'm sorry, 18th of May. I cannot do math. And it looks like you got skins for all of these things too, which is pretty pretty awesome. Just know Staging Branch is known as experimental. Um, some players play it, but it's actually pretty sparse. Mostly content creators do this. If you're really worried about it, hit the standard version. I'm sorry, the regular version, which is deluxe, which is $60 USD. You know, nothing crazy there, right? And uh, if you want to do the cheaper option, by all means, uh, get the $50 version, which is called the, what are they calling this? The standard edition? Standard? And if you're on the fence, wait till we're streaming this live. Make a decision there right i mean you can ask us all kinds of questions we'll show you you can see if that's something you're down with if you're not that's fine too uh, but i'm telling you if you like those open world survivals you're gonna love it and just to uh if you're going to be playing this in the pre-order beta and you're a single player or you have a group and you're like man i need a a good baseline to start with for a base i got you check out this two by three base right now i'm going to link it in the upper right hand corner it's going to help you. You can make it modular. You can add to it. You can make changes. And again, solo or groups. It's a great starter. It's going to give you that protection you need for all players involved. Not only for this pre-order beta, but for full release as well. Okay, let me just double check my list to make sure I hit all the points here. We've got the 100 players per server. We've got wipes. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh yeah, we'll let you know how uh, how we play as far as like PvP and building and stuff during the live streams. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that too because I know there's going to be lots of questions. Lots and lots of questions. Uh, and again, since this is going to be a a beta, a pre-order beta, I'm sure there'll be hiccups and, and glitches that happen, but I have all the confidence in the world that Double Eleven will address these in a timely fashion. And uh, I don't expect too many. Mostly, I mean, this is me just saying personally, because of the sheer popularity of this game, the only thing I foresee to be like a big problem will probably be the wait queues. But that's just me putting that out there because we're going to melt this thing when, when this thing finally goes up, right? Like, I know we're playing for stupid long sessions. So it's going to be fantastic. If you did find this helpful and useful, be sure to drop a like. And if you think you're into it, uh, drop a subscribe and turn on those notifications. If you're down... And yes, we will most definitely be there. And if you got those notifications on, you will be the first to know as soon as we know. And I'm pretty sure we're going to know with the quickness. So, you know, hang in there. Just know um, it's this week or next. And just be patient. We've waited this long. It won't take that much longer. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the Rust Beaches soon enough. All right. Love you. We'll see you in the next video slash live stream. Bye. Should we, should we drive out again? Let's drive out again.